Hello, and welcome to 4DM3 News. I'm Jay, here with Ruby, reporting the latest breaking news. We have a very tragic story today where another young athlete has suddenly passed away in the middle of a game. This story adds to the growing number of unexpected cardiac arrests being experienced by athletes. These stories have shocked people globally. We expect athletes to have the healthiest heart because of their fitness. However, these unfortunate cases have shown otherwise. We've been receiving so many questions on this topic that we brought in a specialist to learn more about the situation. Dr. Parker is a cardiologist who's conducted extensive research on heart health. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Jane. Hi, Ruby. Thanks for having me today. So Dr. Parker, we're eager to know, what is your take on the situation and why do these tragic and sudden events keep occurring to young, seemingly healthy athletes? I'm glad you asked. What most people don't know is that these specific athletes were born with a heart defect. So while for most people, partaking in physical activity contributes to heart health, for these individuals, the strain can actually be fatal. So Dr. Parker, you're talking about a heart defect. Could you tell us more about it? Absolutely. So what most of these young adults actually have is a disease called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Now this disease is caused by an inherited genetic mutation. Individuals who have this disease have unexplained thickening of certain areas of their heart, specifically here in the left ventricle and here at the septum, which is a wall that separates the two sides of the heart. The left ventricle is responsible for pumping blood to the rest of your body. However, when it thickens, its ability to do so is impaired because it can't pump as strongly. This can lead to a heart attack in which this organ stops pumping blood completely. But why does this happen in some young athletes? As you may know, the heart is a muscle. Like all muscles, the heart becomes stronger and thicker with exercise. However, when paired with this condition, the strain on athletes' hearts from training leads to an unhealthy thickening of the heart. This then causes impaired blood flow both into and out of the heart. Now with continuous exercise, a heart attack eventually occurs, as seen in the tragic cases discussed by Ruby and Jane. Unfortunately, over 80% of affected individuals show no symptoms until a heart attack begins to occur. During this time, individuals may experience symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, increased heart rate, and loss of consciousness. Wow, it really is unfortunate that so many people with this disease have no idea that they have it. Our question to you, doctor, is how can people try to be proactive and potentially reduce the risk of these tragic outcomes? Great question. Well, first, I just want to point out that it may be quite difficult to be proactive unless the current cardiac examination regulations for athletes are changed. So studies suggest that it's difficult to diagnose hypertrophic cardiomyopathy using the typical current protocol, which includes a physical heart exam. This standard physical exam is not enough to diagnose hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Instead, a more specific test called an electrocardiogram, or an ECG, is needed for diagnosis of this disease. So given this information, what do you believe the next steps should be? So medical sports professionals are currently urging all athletes in professional organizations and clubs to undergo mandatory ECG testing prior to participating in their sport. By doing so, early diagnosis of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is possible and the risk of sudden cardiac arrest and further complications are reduced. Now if caught early, treatments include medication, surgery, and limiting vigorous exercise. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Parker. We hope that with this information, young athletes become much more aware. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And that's all from us here at 4DM3 News. Tune in next time to hear from Rob, who will be live at the park where a woman is stuck in a tree instead of her cat.